Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, let's understand how to run long running processes in Azure using web jobs. So basically, when you are working in real time, you might get need where you have some long running process that you wanted to schedule and run. And whenever when it is running, you wanted to go and see the logs. So generally, how to do that in the Azure? You have to use something called a web jobs. Let's understand some scenario. Uh, let's assume you wanted to write a program, and that program has to uh, I, that program may run for a couple of times. So, okay, so let's assume let's assume I have a console application. Okay, and this console application what it will do maybe it will go to some system and it will fetch some details from there okay and whatever the details it will get back to console app those details it will go and update in database and this whole process it will run in repeated fashion in a loop okay so in a loop it will execute so when this kind of a long running process is there I can obviously run this website or run, run this program in my local, but that will not help me, right? Because my system has to always up and running. If my system is not up and running, then I cannot run that in a local, right? So his system has to always up and running, but that, that will not work, right? But I, for some reason, I wanted to uh, schedule it in Azure. I wanted to deploy this into Azure uh, so that I can schedule it or deploy it and forget it will running and whenever I want I can go and check the logs. So to do that there is something called web jobs. And in web jobs you can uh, you can host or deploy multiple kind of a programs. A dot exe file you can deploy which is a output of the console application in dot net. Also you can use uh, powers PowerShell scripts, bash scripts, node.js scripts and everything. So I have noted in here, right? These are the supported types. So you can use the .exe files. You can use a PowerShell, uh, Bash scripts, Node.js, Java, right? So your program can be any of these faction. Once you have that program, and if that program runs for a longer time, go and schedule that in the Azure web app, web jobs. So where these web jobs is available, these are available inside the Azure web app service. So if you guys know web app service where we host the websites in the in that websites uh, in that Azure web app instance, you can host the web jobs actually. And when you go inside the Azure web app, you will see something called this web jobs menu. And there you will see something called add button. Using that you can add the web jobs. So let's see a practical example of this. So let me quickly create a console application. So using Visual Studio. I am creating a console application. I am taking console app uh, and uh, this is console app too. That is fine. So what I will do, I will write some program here in this console app that will print something. Okay. Uh, for now, I will print hello world. Imagine you are doing some process in your program. Okay. So let me explain you what I am trying to say here. So here, so let's assume uh, I will use a for loop here. Okay. So let me use a for loop here for int i equals to 0 to 100 uh, 0 to 10 i am going to print hello world that means i am going to print hello world around 10 times here so imagine in real time uh, inside this for loop or uh, or the whole code uh, whatever you have written it it's some long running code it is some long running process maybe it will run for hours right so I am not creating any long running process. I just created a sample code, but imagine that it's a long running process and in many other places you have written console dot write line to see till where the process ran all that kind of a stuff. In this example, I am just printing hello world. So when I take this code and host in Azure web app web jobs, uh, I can see my program running and also I can see it is printing hello world. Okay, so let me practically show you that. So my code is fine. So I'm building this code. Control Shift B. You can see build started here. 
and uh, right now it is in a debug mode right so that means i need to go inside the debug folder where it compiled my code and zip that code and take into the web jobs so this is my solution explorer if it is not open in your case go to the view and open the solution explorer from here you should see a solution explorer option at the top so let me right click on this project file and open this folder in a file explorer so i am selecting that option so that option opens me my project which is a console app 2 and navigate inside a bin folder navigate inside a debug folder and navigate inside this dot net 9 because my my code was right now executing under the debug so i need to navigate into the debug folder so this file sheet generated when i compile this code so select all and uh, select this compress to zip file option so and i am going to name it like a console app 2 dot zip so that is my zip file name that means i have taken my code and i have compiled it as a zip file so now what i will do i have azure portal opened so in this azure portal i have azure app service already created so let me go it if it is not created in your case create one azure app service and inside that azure app service that is inside the azure web app instance go to the settings inside the settings you will see something called web jobs so click on web jobs and once you click on a web jobs you can hit this add button where you can deploy your program in this case .exe file i have to zip and host it if you have a powershell file you can deploy that too so let me hit this add button and when i hit this add button let me bring this to here i need to fill some details here so i am going to name it like maybe like a testing exe and let me browse and upload my console application so it is console app 2 so let me navigate back to console app 2 so inside this console app 2 bin folder debug folder dot net 9 i have that console app 2 dot zip file so let me select that i have selected my file continuous mean the moment you save this web job it will continuously run that means it will continuously print that hello world but i don't want to do that way i want it to be deployed there and i want to trigger it so i will select the trigger option because with my intervention it will it should run and in the trigger option i am going with a manual option because whenever i want to run that time only it should run so i will go with a manual option you can go with a schedule option also you can schedule it so i am going with a manual option and then let me hit this create web job so once i click this it will create a web job you can see web job creation is in progress let's wait for the web job creation to complete here and hit this refresh button once you see that web job got added you should see your web job is up there so you see your web job is up there and you can see it's a manual scheduled one so let me hit this run button to run this web job and when i hit this run button that's where you can see web job will start execute and uh, you can see it executed also and immediately completed because my web job simply prints the hello world messages but in your case your web jobs may run for uh, multiple hours and in middle middle it may print some status messages to you so how to see them you have to navigate inside these logs and when i go when i go there you can clearly see that so it, it printed hello world 10 times you see that because that is what i am doing it so but let's assume in your case maybe you are printing couple of messages saying uh, got the details from a system now framing the insert query then maybe inserting the data into a SQL database. So all the status messages you are mentioning in your program as a console.write line, everything will get print there. Okay. So I have shown an example using a console app that means .exe file. But in your case, it can be a PowerShell file or a Node.js or Java, right? So feel free to explore that options as well. So I hope you got an idea how these web jobs help you to run the long running processes using a scheduled or a manual mechanism. So thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.